friends our today's video is a concluding video for our lng series in our past videos we have seen how and why a natural gas is liquefied to reduce its volume so that the it can facilitate the transportation of gas then we have seen how the gas is transported cross countries and even continents and finally after reaching the destination the lng the liquefied natural gas is again regasified into a gaseous methane which is again compressed into pipelines for further distribution to the end consumer in today's video which is a final part of our series on lng we are going to see a very very important phenomena that is auto refrigeration so uh, this is a very important video uh, do watch this video till the end so moving forward the auto refrigeration phenomena is very important and uh, it is related to the transportation stage when the lng is transported through ships maybe on a cross uh, cross continental voyage so during the transportation process of course however best quality of insulation will be used there will always be some amount of heat loss okay that is the one reason for uh, heat loss and also there is another reason which is called as sloshing of the lng during the traveling uh, because of all this heat loss a portion of natural gas which will change its state from liquid state to gaseous state now a very important uh, question will arise that we have to vent out this uh, boiled off liquid uh, this uh, natural gas Uh, because otherwise it will start increasing the pressure inside the lng storage tank and it will uh, it will result in quick gasification of the liquid lng so to avoid this it is very important to release this gas so this gas uh, accounts for about 2 to 6% of the entire volume of lng during the transportation okay and uh, this natural gas cannot be allowed to remain inside the tank as we have seen that it will increase the pressure and it will uh, result in the boil off process so uh, here we have a very short video where we are going to see how this sloshing takes place during the transportation let's see uh, this is a tank it is similar the sloshing process will be similar in case of ship also because of the motion we can see that the liquid is sloshing inside the tank this phenomena will increase the fluid friction and as the friction will increase it will generate some amount of heat and this heat will be responsible for the boil off process now this process can be uh, slow down by means of uh, introducing the baffles in the tank here we can see uh the sloshing phenomena has been slowed down and uh, because of this the boil off process has also slowed down so this is a very interesting video which explains uh, the uh, process of sloshing 
Uh, in ship also, uh, these kind of tanks are very common, but these tanks in case of ship are uh, spherical shaped and uh, they are accompanied with uh, baffles. So now we will see how this auto refrigeration takes place and what is the significance of that. Uh, we have seen that uh, some quantity, some proportion of the LNG will be definitely gasified uh, during the course of transportation and the reasons for that. Uh, this uh, gasified LNG is called as boil of gas, BOG, which is shown here and it will of course uh, will be on the upper side, on the upper space it will occupy and as this uh, BOG will start collecting on the upper side of the tank, it will increase the pressure which is not desirable. So, uh, we want to maintain this uh, tank, we want to maintain the pressure inside the tank, uh, not on the higher side. So, that is why we will facilitate the venting process of this uh, boil of gas. So, what will happen? Uh, see, the LNG tank, if we want to avoid the a boil of gas process then we have then one solution is that we have to introduce a refrigeration plant to again for the cooling of the LNG to maintain that temperature but it will again increase the additional cost of transportation because of the refrigeration so in order to avoid this uh, cost or to reduce the cost on the other way we can say uh, this auto refrigeration process plays a very key and vital role and how it takes uh, and how it uh, provides a cooling effect that we will be uh, seeing here we can see this is a natural gas and uh, because of the reasons we discussed there will be some amount of Nat uh, LNG which will change its phase from liquid state to gas. During the course of change of state that is liquid to gaseous state, it will absorb the latent heat of evaporation from the surrounding and this uh, phenomena of uh, absorbing the latent heat from the surrounding will create a cooling effect, will create a refrigerating effect inside the tank. This is very important. And once uh, the it changes the phase to a gaseous state, that is the boil of gas, it is vented out and this gas which is vented out, that is the boil of gas, is utilized for running the engine or it is utilized for the power generation on the ship and the entire boil of gas uh, will definitely reduce the quant quantity of uh, LNG that is being transported and this uh, loss of LNG counts for about 2 to 6 percent. So this is all everything or uh, this is all about the uh, LNG auto refrigeration. So the auto in uh, to summarize we can say that auto refrigeration is a process where an unintentional and or uncontrolled phase change of a hydrocarbon from a liquid state to a vapor occurs resulting in a very rapid reduction in the temperature of the local equipment or piping in which it is stored. So this is all about the auto refrigeration process and uh, uh, today uh, this was our uh, final episode on LNG. Uh, we have seen in the three videos earlier and this is the fourth video. Uh, do let us know your comments on this. Uh, we are very keen to know 
your opinion your feedbacks are very important and valuable for us uh, this is your channel in fact you can give us suggestions for such kind of uh, different uh, informative topics like one was the lng and uh, do subscribe like and comment on the for this video and also we request you to insist your friends and colleagues to subscribe to our channel share this channel uh, as much as possible to you so that people can take benefit of this free training and without fail once again do uh, subscribe to our channel thanks for watching the video thanks and have a nice day